Hey friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge, and today we're taking a look at the third and final knife by Orla. I found this in my drawer. I forgot to review it. I had gotten three knives from Orla, and uh, I missed this one. I reviewed a folding knife of theirs and another fixed blade of theirs. They were being sold on Amazon for quite a while. I think they're in the high 20s. Uh, priced like $28, $29. Now they're sold uh, at least to America with free shipping from their website, orlausa.com. $31.50 American for this. With free shipping, shipping to Canada is $21 American dollars. So it's like 55 something American for this fixed blade. Uh, the same knife is on amazon.ca for Canadians for like 95 bucks Canadian. So Canadians, if you want this, buy it from the Orla USA store online. It's a whole lot less money. Uh, 440, 420 HC, carbon, uh, carbon steel. So you haven't done this for a while, have I? Stainless steel, 420 uh, high carbon stainless steel. It's got a thick blade, G10 handle scales, and I'll show you the sheath. I will not do a full review video. If you want to hear all my opinions about the steel and, you know, more of my opinions about these knives, go watch the uh, T008 uh, video because almost all my feelings of this knife are the same as they are in that video. So I'll try to be brief, which means it's probably still going to take me 15 minutes. <laughs> I am who I am and I, so I do my videos the way I do them. So sit down, relax, let's take a look at this knife. So here you go. Take a look at this knife. Uh, by the way, those of you who are uh, keeping track, concerned about uh, my well-being, uh, recovering from surgery is going well. I'm getting a little better each day. I've gotten to the point where I can go up one flight of stairs uh, normally. Well, it doesn't feel normal, but I can do just one step. Uh, going downstairs, I still have to do that double step. You know, put one foot down a step and then put the other, put the bad foot down, good, or no, bad foot down, then good foot matching the same step. You know, so I have to stutter, I have to do every step with both feet. But uh, pretty soon I'll be able to go down with both feet, like a normally one step at a time all the way down. So that's a good sign. Yeah, I am getting better. Uh, this knife, we've got a uh, taco style kydex sheath, uh, four rivets uh, holding it together. It's a little bit loose, comes out quite easily. You know, if I hold it upside down, you know, it'll not always, but sometimes it'll shake out. It's just on that verge of wanting to fall out on a shake or not. That's not terrible, but you know, it's certainly not good. Uh, and you've got this uh, style of clip, which is not very good at all. I dislike these at the best of times, and this specific type of these is the worst of them. So, yeah, not great. Could be worse, though, right? Uh, the knife here, you've got, uh, I think those are four millimeter, maybe they're five millimeter hex, but they're, you know, Allen keys, they're, they're metric. We've got the lanyard hold down there, which to me, I think it's an odd placement. I, actually, it doesn't really matter if it's up there or down there, but you got the lanyard hole, full tank construction. We've got a high flat grind, straight back knife, a very big or short, but really fat belly, and then a straight section. The grind angles on this thing are crazy. They're extremely steep here. And for most of it, it's on this side, it's probably averaging about 26 degrees on this side. And this side's a little bit better. It's on this part where I'm covering, it's averaging close to 19 degrees. And then it goes even steeper here. So the factory sharpening, the factory sharpening from Orla is just, some of the worst that I've seen 
you, you get what you pay for. You, you really do. Got the nice swedge up here though. That's okay. Sharpness trial, it's adequate. So no big problem there. Uh, we've got that uh, random sort of rock cut G10. They're firm. They didn't come loose. They're holding nicely tight. There's like fine jimping all the way along the entire outside edge of this knife. I think it's just the way that it's been uh, probably laser cut. It might have been milled that way with that little bit of texture on there. It fits fairly nice in hand though. You know, it's a little bit small for me. If you have extra large hands, the grip on here is too small. Men's extra large, too small. So if you've got just men's large or smaller hands, you know, this could be quite comfortable for you. You know, even, you know, the reverse grip's okay. It's okay. Measurements. Oh, I didn't weigh it. I'll put the weight on the screen. The weight of the knife and then with the sheath. That's on the screen. The size is, the blade length is about 100 and, whoops, I count, I did that wrong. Yeah, 107 millimeters, which is about four and three sixteenths, roughly. Cutting edge is roughly just under four inches, which is right around 10 centimeters. So you got that. The thickness behind the grind is, there you go, 0.87 millimeters, which is 34 thousandths, there you go, 34 thousandths of an inch thick. So way too thick. And it's only gonna get thicker every time you sharpen it. The handle length, the G10 here is about three and three quarter inches which is about 95 millimeters. The thickness is over three quarters of an inch. There you go, you can see that 0.7595, which is about 19.3 millimeters. And that's all the measurements I'm gonna give you for it. You know, it's not that great of a knife. I tried cutting with it. Yeah, it's sharp enough to cut paper from the factory. Let's see, we got some paper here. So you heard how loud that was. And if you look at a close up of this paper, it's a lot of ripping and not an awful lot of cutting. And yeah, it's just not that good. Did I do a lot of cutting with this? No, not really. I'll just be honest with you. It's basically because it's the same knife as the other Orla in terms of its cutting performance. It's sharpened as poorly. It's, you know, the same kind of thickness. It's the exact same steel. I figured I was going to save some time, do this review anyway, so that I can get this knife out of my life and off my shelf. So there you go. I'll be doing a knife sale, um, I think in early uh, February, certainly by mid-February. My sponsors, my supporters, my Patreon supporters, and my YouTube members get first dibs on those sales. And this knife will go for very, very cheap. <laughs> it's going to cost probably more to ship this thing than I'm going to sell it for, <laughs> which means maybe nobody's going to want it. We'll see. If you're on the market for a knife, I would suggest that you bypass Orla. They just really aren't that good. They might be tempting at that super low price. Uh, they're just not worth it. If you're in Canada, uh, get a Hunt Shield knife from Canadian Tire. It'll cost you a little bit less if you wait for a sale. Don't buy Hunt Shield knives at regular price. You know, wait for one of those 60 to 70% off sales and, and buy them then. Um, and if you're in the United States, there's a lot of better knives than these for similar kind of prices. So there you go. So that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to say for this video. It's not really a full review, but it's a little bit of information about a knife. And uh, that's it. 
Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and happy Fixed Blade Friday. Remember, cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.